All right, so what I was saying before we, right before we ended the last video was, you're gonna see on your prop guards here, there are three holes, right? Uh, three screw holes on the top, okay? Those screw holes are for your, uh, um, whatchamacallit here, your uh, canopy, okay? So for example, your canopy, when these two prop guards come together, one of those holes, usually I guess it'll be the middle one, uh, will, it'll screw down here, and then the other one will screw down here. And it's gonna do that uh, on the front and on the sides, okay? So when you're putting these on, keep in mind that the middle hole what you're screwing into needs to be in the middle. So just use that as your guide, and I'll explain to you a little bit more here in a second. Uh, as far as if you wanna put this on the top or bottom, not really sure it matters, but we're gonna put these on the top right now, just like that, okay? And you're gonna line this up so that the middle hole is in the center, okay? So you have a hole up here and a hole back here. And what you want is the center hole. Now I gotta make sure our VTX is gonna fit here with any issue. I just saw that and that looks really close. Let me find my VTX just, just to be sure that everything is gonna fit without any issues. Where did I put it? Let me get these little things out of here. I moved it and now I have to find it. Babe, can't find my VTX. Sad part is I know it's right here. I just don't know where right here it is. Here's my bag, so it must have come out of the bag. So let's take a moment to find... Oh, here it is. Okay, so let me put this on just to make sure that we're going to have everything fitting without any issues. And I think so. Yeah, actually we are. That's going to be just a perfect fit. No matter how we do it, that should fit just fine. Yep, good. Okay. So getting back to what we were doing. Um, okay, so what we want to do here is line up your prop guard, okay? Uh, so that the middle screw, uh, so there's a screw in the middle, a screw hole right here, okay? And then, I'm trying to think if I need to put the VTX on first. Let me get one of the screws that came with the prop, or came with the motor. Let's make sure this is going to be okay. I don't know if that's going to be too long or not. Let's see what we got here. Get up here. Oh, getting this wired in is going to be fun. Okay. This is gonna sit just like that. So take, bless you. So you're gonna see on your prop guard, you're gonna have two holes and then two longer openings. Make sure that one of the holes lines up. Um, and I thought it was gonna be in the middle, but it doesn't look like it. So let me just verify that this is gonna fit because you have to have this one here. It won't be the middle actually, it'll be the first one. Okay, so, sorry, I had said the middle hole, but it's gonna be the first one because the second one goes to the side. So turn your prop guard to where, actually, let me do it like this. You see how you have your front, your middle, and the back? The middle will actually be aimed towards the standoff. The front will go to the front, and this back one will go to the side. So line that up like that, which should get your, which should get this hole here. I'm gonna put this motor in here. I hate prop guards for this is the one reason I don't like prop guards they always kind of throw me off so you should have two holes that line up with the holes on the prop guard and just put a screw through that just to hold it in place now I think this screw is going to be too long but let me just see yeah that's way too long uh, let me see what else they give us with this frame maybe they give us a screw that would work because the screws that came with the motors you might as well just put those in your bin for now because those are going to be too long to use and the other ones are too short to use. So take all these little bags that you have. We're not going to use those, apparently. So let's put those away. I think I should have one more, right? Yeah, right here. Put those away so you don't accidentally use those and hit the copper. So you can fit them all in one. You can throw the rest of these things away, I guess, or keep them if you have extras. Um, 
this screw might actually be the right one to use. And they gave us a bag of these with this uh, frame. So let's see if those are going to be okay. Uh, they must have given us close to 16, so I bet that's what they were thinking about. Let's try this again. Okay, let's line this up. Yeah, that'll work. And then let's put our motor down. And let's tighten it, but just tighten it gently. You don't need to... You need to have some play in it so you can move the, uh, the other holes to line up. So just tighten it just enough to hold it in place. Uh, but you have to, you're going to need to adjust it, okay? Um, and that is not going there. I think that will work. line up the second one here okay once I get those lined up there we go got one prop guard in place and now let me please check my BTX again to make sure everything's gonna be okay yep and that's gonna be perfect all right that's one prop guard in place. And if you want, you can take the wires and push them underneath, or do whatever you want to do. I'm not gonna worry about it too much because these wires are not very long, but if you want to get them out of the way, you can just kind of tuck them under for now and then we'll come back later and straighten them out here. See, so I'm just gonna pull them and I'm gonna go under the flight controller here just like this. just like that okay that's plenty that's plenty of protection in the flight controller and they'll stay out of the way that way all right so there's the first one kind of a pain okay uh, let's go to the next one and I believe that if you're I believe that this is going to be the same way just like this on the side yeah so here's a rule uh, that you could follow is I noticed that on motors two and three the tab here is going to go straight to the outside to the uh it'll go to the right and it'll go to the left on these ones that's not the case all right so on the back ones uh this will sit uh, like this and i believe that these are going to go uh to the back let me check they're going to go at an angle i think so yeah if, let me see oh they're going to go to the back i think so they'll go back so two motor two and motor three the tabs will go to the right and to the left. That's how you know how to line this up. So for this one, I'm gonna line this up to where it's going out outside the frame here and I can put my motor in then and I should be okay. So let me see if I get this, line this up properly with the holes just like that. Let's get the screw in here. There we go. Sorry guys, I just, I hate working with prop guards, but it's a necessary evil, I guess. Okay, let's get that to just hold it in place. And now let's line up the rest of the motor and the guard together. Okay, so there's two motors. We can come back in and put the rest of the screws down later. I'm just gonna tuck these wires again under, so I'm gonna pull them just a little bit, get them under the flight controller here. You all right? What's wrong? Oh, babe, sorry. Get out of here. Go on. Go home, babe. It's not that important. 
Okay, now I just dropped my prop guard. Let me get the other two. Okay, so for the other two, like I said, I think it goes to the back. Let me just verify this. So, because we've got to get the screws to line up. So yeah, it's going to go to the, well, back or front. It's basically going to go, go to the outside straight this way and straight down, okay? Instead of out to the side, it's going to go up and down. So let's go ahead and bring our motors in. We'll bring them in like this, I think. Well, no, maybe it goes at an angle. Who knows? All I know is you've got to get the screw holes to line up. Okay, so it would have to go something like that. So let's bring the motor in from this side then. And get this to line up like this. There we go. Grab one of the motor screws. there while I try to get the rest of this lined up. Okay, there we go. whole bench is turned holy cow that's how you know I'm stressing out about this all right let's get this next one in there we go okay now we'll clean those wires up here in just a second but let's just look at what we've got so we've got all of our stuff ready to go. And as you can see, all the screw holes are lined up. That's exactly what we needed. Okay. So now we have, uh, we've got our motors in. We can clean up the wires here just a little bit. I'm not really too worried about that because you can tuck them in under the frame as you need. Uh, you can zip tie them down, whatever you wish to do. I'm not really, uh, like I said, I'm not really concerned about it because there's plenty of room here. So if I just take them and drag them under the flight controller, there's plenty of room to do that too. So let me just kind of clean them up a little bit. Oh, let me turn that off. Hey, Sam, can you let my mom know that I'm doing a video, please? That's her calling, and I told her I'd try not to miss her calls. Oh, you know what? No, I'm, I told her I would do that. Hold on. Hello? Hey, I'm doing a video, but I'm answering. <laughs> okay, bye. Told my mom I wouldn't miss her calls anymore. Uh, and so when she calls, we have to pause. We're not going to pause the video. We'll just have to deal with that for a minute. Okay, anyway, so the wires are tucked away, so everything's good. So there you go. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to come back, start adding the camera in and get everything closed up. Uh, take all these screws. These are the remaining four for each or the remaining two for each motor uh, We'll add those so why don't you guys go ahead and finish that out right now And I'll come back make sure all your screws are put in clean up the table And then we'll come back put in our VTX put in our camera. and We'll be done